how you going? Guess what just arrived? My convention merch! Woohoo! Okay, let's have a look. First, we've got the supplements box. And I like that it's pretty and it's green. So when they first released it, they only had clear. So white, clear, plain. But it was still really good. And then the next year they released it, they had purple and now they've got green. So what I really love about this box is that it's totally customizable. So you, it comes with all the little dividers and you can just stick them in wherever you want them. And they just, they slot in really easily. They stay in place and you can move them as much or as little as you want. Um, so it depends how you like to organize your supplements. I personally like to have it all in one thing. So I would, I would go Monday lunch, Tuesday and just have each dose there. So I would do two of my, um, two each of the bottles of LLV. So two of the Mitomax, two of the Alpha CRS and two of the Zeomega. And I would have them all in there. And then I would also chuck in my DER Prime and whatever else I do that day. Terrazyme, Zendochrome, whatever else I have. Other people like to go, this compartment is just for my DDR Prime. This compartment is just for my Terrazyme. This compartment is just for my PB Assist or whatever it is you do. And then at mealtimes or whenever, they go along and they just pick out how many they need. So it, it totally depends um, how you like to organize your supplements, but I love it because it's again, like I said, it's customizable um, To what works for you. I also like like you can't go past stickers. I lie <laughs> Stickers boxes merch. Yeah, I get totally sucked in. Love it um, But again, it goes with the whole organization thing. The other thing that I really love are the magnets so you get pull them apart. You get the calendar magnet um, that you can stick on your fridge or any um, magnetic surface. So whether you do it on whiteboard or whatever. Um, and then you can track what you have done that day, which I really love because I am amazing at remembering my breakfast dose, second dose of the day, whether it's lunch or dinner. I mm, don't, I'm, yeah, I don't. And I've tried, I've tried different things. I have, I've got the box and I've cut out the picture and I've stuck it everywhere. So there's one on my fridge. There's one on the cupboards where my LLV lives. There's one above the tea cabinet. There's one like that. There, there's pictures everywhere to try and remind me because I just, I don't know why, but that second dose just really gets me. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, and it comes with these ones. And, and even a, yay, you did it. I mean, who doesn't need some encouragement? Small wins, right? You need to celebrate all the small wins. So yeah, the yay, you did it. I'm like, yes, I remembered. I like that. Um, and you've got like different, different magnets that you can pull out and stick on the corresponding days. How cool is that? Okay, so that's the supplements box. Um, okay, what else have we got? We've got, oh, this felt carry bag which is great for rollers so it's just held together by simple simplicity is good um and then you can fit your rollers in there so it fits one i think about five that's three that's three in there so i can fit a couple more so around five rollers and there's a little pocket at the front so you can either have your ice blue or your um toothpaste stuff um, or if you do this as a business and you want to take samples with you this is a great way to take some samples stick your business card in there as well all those um, sample cards that you can get in your back office which are great so if you pull out here's a roller and here's a sample card um, that's really helpful so I, I like these um, now what else have we got oh the other thing that I like about this as well if your oils end up leaking and I hope that they don't but sometimes that they do um I like that the felt will probably just soak it all up so that it's not all over the bag or all over everything so that's another plus for the felt bag um okay what else have we got I like these the silicon travel uh, what do you call them pouches squirt like Bottles, bottles bottles <laughs> good word can't do the English sorry um 
These um, are made of silicon. They are reusable and refillable, which is great. So, um, and it holds its shape, which is another great thing. And it's got a wide mouth, so it's easy to put the stuff in. So I would, personally, I would use it for shampoo and also um, dishwashing liquid. So I like to bring my own dishwashing liquid when we go away. I, I often have reactions to who knows what and you know just air um so trying to minimize that with the stuff that i know that i'm not going to react to is a bonus so being able to take it with me even better um i also i don't know if you can see but the this bit here where it comes out is sealed so it just um it kind of it lets out that little bit that you need and then it this the silicon bit kind of goes back into place and which means it is leak proof <gasps> even better and perfect while you're traveling um, and there is also that bit of silicon around that top um, which makes it even more leak proof which is great um, the other thing that you can do so particularly those of you who have lots of um, joint discomfort and you buy the ice blue or the deep blue from america in the big one liter pump packs you can pump it into here and refill these and bob's your uncle so good all right what's what else do we have all right we've got the toppers so they come in there's two two types the the slightly longer taller ones are for roller bottles the slightly shorter stouter ones are for oil bottles um and i like that here's one i prepared earlier um i like that they they um carabiner sorry the carabiner is not made of plastic so if you have the kids ones i i have heard a lot of i have had i have not had any issues with mine but i do know some people who, who have had issues with their plastic carabiners and they have broken um particularly when they're trying to pull it back to hook onto whatever they're hooking onto um and so i like that these are metal um i like that there are different sizes because previously um we've only seen them in the the roller ones but you know this is great too so um what else have we got oh this one so this is another type of uh, silicon rollable holder roller bottle holder and again comes with like the metal i think this is aluminium it seems to be quite light which is quite nice um particularly if you're out and about uh, i like it feels really durable um the other thing so i at, at first i was like oh nah because three how do i pick three i can't pick three um i want all of them but i thought of another way of using it so at night time, I like to roll on two things on my children, one for immunity and the other for calm, sleep, just stay quiet, go to sleep. Um, they often have patience for me rolling one thing on, but not two. So here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to stick both of them in, take off the lids and then just roll both of them on at the same time. Simple solutions. So I'll let you know how that goes uh what else have we got oh the beautiful marble roller bar stand i love this it fits nine roller bottles across the top where did i put oh in the felt pouch um i like that it holds them in place um not only through the hole at the top but they're if you can see they each have like a little placeholder at the bottom so when you stick it in they're not wriggling around and they're not slipping out either which is wonderful and you can still see this way you can still see the names so when they're stacked up lovely on the shelf you know exactly which one you want you pull one out and they're not all gonna fall down so i i have the um the wooden kind of like a mountain or a upside down v shape that mount the um the wooden bamboo one from last year and that was great as as a nice display but i i do find when i pick one up sometimes they all fall down particularly when i have them in 
in the the lounge room on top of like a stack of drawers where we stick toys in and obviously it's not the best place but it's one of the only places that I can put it in there and um yeah so the whole thing just kind of wobbles which doesn't really help so I have the stand there and all the oils just kind of flounce around they just sit around so yeah so they're, they're not sitting on the stand so I'm hoping that this can replace that and that will be a really simple solution for that so loving this it looks lovely so I don't know whether it's real marble or whether it's like resin but it looks like real marble it kind of feels like it too um, like it's kind of got that cold feeling to it it's quite nice I like it all right what else have we got in here Doopy -doopy -doo. I think that is pretty much it from the convention merch stuff. I also wanted to show you the shampoo and conditioner bar. So this came in my convention kit. Um, and these are limited edition. Well, sorry. So they are limited to the Aussie market at the moment. So, sorry, not limited. Exclusive would probably be the better word. They are exclusive to the Aussie market at the moment. Um, I, I'm hoping that they will come in as a permanent product later on, as most of our convention stuff normally does. So that's really exciting. This is the, well, let's start with the shampoo because you start with shampoo first. This is the shampoo bar flavored with or scented with wild orange and lime. And I like, there's no plastic on it. So it really is eco-friendly. And it smells it smells like an orange whiz fizz. Like it kind of has that tangy, that tanginess to it, which is kind of nice. I kind of like that. So I am looking forward to trying that. And this is the conditioner bar, which is peppermint, lavender, and cedar wood. And I quite like this. So I, I don't particularly like lavender. Cedar wood just smells like dirt and worms to me. I use it because it works, not because I love the smell. And peppermint mm, it wasn't one of my faves, but actually together as a combo, it's it works. I love, like hats off to all those doTERRA perfumers and those people who, who make all this stuff because their blends, every single one of doTERRA's blends just works. It is just beautiful. So whilst I wouldn't put this together, I love, I love what they've done. And it smells really nice. So it's not bright and fresh and fruity. Um, like, like you would, it's not like motivate, for example, where, um, and I don't, I don't envisage if you use both of these together, you would then smell like motivate because orange and mints together, citrus and mints. Um, but the peppermint isn't overpowering and the cedar wood doesn't pull it down. So it's not, it's not overly deep, but it's not overly too much and it just it just it just works it smells amazing so i would love to hear if you got the convention kit and you tried these two i would love to hear what you thought of it um the other bit of merch that actually came as part of the convention kit is the two-tone duo case which is really nice one two three four five and i also like that um so every year the convention kit it used to come in this big massive massive box and then the next year it came smaller and then smaller and smaller and I love that they are trying to reduce their um, footprint and trying to contribute to sustainability in all their products and packaging which is great so this year all the Do all the doTERRA convention oils actually came inside the bag which just makes sense um, so we had the the bergamo mint the tulsi the divana the whisper touch the pursue blend um and they all came in here um and this also comes with like a little baby pouch inside which is really cute so you can fit another five roller bottles in that one um and then this one's got a side pocket with safety oil safety information um, and uh, yeah, so it's a really good weekender bag, makeup bag. Um, it's big enough, fits enough stuff, but it's also small and compact enough that it, it's not going to take up heaps of space. So I, I really like this one. Cool. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm loving all the convention merch. Can't wait to try them 
try them if um, if you got some and you have tried them I would love to hear what you thought of them and which one's your fave and what you're using them for all right that's it for me thanks guys bye